Hi guys, Pierce here, back with another review. Here I have LEGO's NASA Mars Rover Perseverance set, set number 30682. This set was originally released in January 2024 for about 83 pieces. Um, it is possibly a promotional set for buying over a certain amount, but I'm not really sure. It features about 83 pieces, and I found this at Dollarama for about 5 Canadian dollars or about $3.65 USD. For some brief history, the Perseverance rover is the successor of the Curiosity rover. Its mission is to search for signs of ancient life on Mars and gather rock and regolith samples to be returned to Earth for further study. It also has secondary objectives like testing out new oxygen generation methods. On July 30th, 2020, a rocket with Perseverance was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida on its way to Mars. The rocket with Perseverance arrived and landed on Mars on February 18th, 2021. Perseverance's landing zone is Jezero Crater. This landing zone was chosen because scientists believed that the area was once flooded with water and was home to an ancient river delta. And that, that river delta was a host for possibly a lot of ancient life forms on Mars. This rover has also achieved many things like recording the first sounds from Mars and testing out navigation systems that enable more vehicle autonomy. Um, it is collecting rock samples and it is planned for another rover to come over and uh, retrieve those samples where it can launch a rocket to send those samples back to Earth one day. Uh, currently the rover is still in operation and exploring Mars as we speak. Moving on to Perseverance's features, we have a detachable power source. You just take this off, put this on. Very simple, very easy. Um, you also have this front head, camera head here, sensor head uh, that can rotate 360 degrees. Very simple again. You also have a gear uh, system here that can rotate the arms for the drill uh, with drill and uh, sensor as seen on Perseverance. Uh, just turn this knob here. You can turn right, left. Uh, you can also uh, change the angle at which the drill is drilling at. Uh, you can put the angle like this if you're like drilling against a rock wall or you can put it down to drill into the ground and then you can do further, further adjustments by a uh, just moving this side to side if you want even more angles. So that is really neat too. Um, wheels, uh, they actually work really well on like sort of like rubber like surfaces or like carpet. Um, but if you do uh, end up on a hard surface, uh, they do, they might struggle a little bit but they generally can work rather well on there too. Um, this rover also has a functioning suspension. I believe the rover features a rocker bogey suspension. Um, it is effective. You just have to make sure that you're light on the vehicle, like you're not putting a lot of downward force. Um, let's see how you can just put this up. You just have to be very gentle. Here, here's here's the problem with the suspension. If you, again, if you push too hard downwards, you'll get the uh, the wheels to form this locked position like this, which is not cool. Let me try again. So, like that. Maybe I'm cheating a little bit, but that's how the suspension works. Um, I think given the resources to given the resources for the designer. I think he did a rather decent job. Um, if you also look at this rover compared to an actual minifigure and you uh, compare it to a human right next to the actual Perseverance rover, it is actually, uh, the scale is actually rather close. So I probably would consider this design actually very close or minifigure scale. Continuing on to my final assessment, I will be judging this set based off of accuracy, cost, playability, and potential. Starting off with accuracy, 
Uh, this is a Technic set, so the pieces of this set are more limited to uh, Technic pieces. Um, the uh, these red axles uh, can be an eyesore at times, but they're not that bad. Uh, you also got other colors like brown, uh, but based on what the designer is uh, given, I think it's still really good. Um, I'm gonna give a ranking of seven out of 10. Uh, cost, um, overall, uh, I really believe that this set has, has a really great uh, bang for buck. There are no minifigures, but that's to be expected for a Technic set. There's a whole ton of useful parts, uh, especially some stuff like this brown Technic axle. Um, these wheels, um, all these joints, they can all be useful in another build. And the design is very solid. So um, overall, I have to say this is a really, uh, really great set for your money if you're really short on cash. Um, so this, I will give a ranking of nine out of 10. Uh, for playability, um, this thing is durable. This thing won't fall apart on you. Um, it has a lot of play features for such a small size. Again, you got the rotating arms, rotating head, detachable fuel tank, and suspension. So that's very, very strong. It even has that suspension. The only thing that might, that is probably a uh, thing against it is the suspension, like having the ability to like lock up like this. Uh, it's understandable, but I maybe there was something better that the designers could have done. Uh, but overall, still very strong in that department. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, potential, this thing is minifigure scale. Uh, so this can be used in mocks of minifigures, which is a really great thing. Uh, great, again, great source of Technic parts. And yeah, this there is a lot of potential that can come out of this set. Again, I'm going to rate this 8 out of 10 which gives us an overall score of 32 out of 40, uh, which is 80% or an A minus. Um, I really believe this set is actually like a really great set. Like if you can find it on store shelves, it, especially if you somehow find this at a dollar store, like go ahead and buy it. Like you won't, you won't be disappointed for the money you pay. Like you like, to get a Lego set this cheap and this good at this time, like when there's so much inflation and and uh, costs are rising, that that's that is so hard to find. Um, and yeah, like just see if you could find that set and like grab it before <laughs> before you run out. Like I really believe this is a really strong set. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you find this review. Uh, helpful and um, yeah, yeah, thank you for watching and like always catch you later